Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're all here. And today's video is another in my series, Closet Declutter, Making My Wardrobe Work for My Current Life and Body. And today we are gonna be tackling my sweater collection. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here as well. I have been on this journey to make my wardrobe one that really is realistic and works for the body I have and the life that I have. And I have made quite a bit of headway so far. I can go ahead and I can link all of the videos below that I have done so far in my decluttering series. But I still do have a lot of work to do. But let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in and start decluttering my sweater collection. Okay, this first sweater is this charcoal gray open front cardigan that I purchased from Amazon a few years ago. This is going to be easy to start with because the charcoal gray is probably a little bit better for me than black as far as the coloring goes. But this sweater is really looking quite shabby, so it's time to say goodbye to this one. Now, this is a brand new sweater that I recently picked up at Target. You can see I still have the tags on it. But I absolutely fell in love with this color. It's really like a lighter green, maybe like a celery green. And it's got really nice texture. And I believe the description of this sweater was something to the effect of like cashmere-like. And I will tell you it is very, very soft, but it does have some thickness to it as well. So I think I'll be able to link this one if you're interested in. I thought it was super cute, but obviously since I just purchased this, I am definitely hanging on to this one. Now this next sweater is a Barefoot Dreams open front cardigan. And it's kind of this taupey color. And this sweater is just as soft as you probably imagine that it is. This is kind of my go-to in the winter time when I'm just cold inside the house and I want to be snuggly and warm. I put on this Barefoot Dream sweater. I honestly don't know if I've really ever worn it out. It seems to be just like my house sweater, but not that I couldn't wear it out, but I absolutely love how snuggly and soft this is, so I am definitely hanging on to this one. Now this is a brand new sweater that I recently picked up in a Kohl's haul. It's called the Everyday Sweater and it's just that nice casual style but really soft and I loved the two-tone of this one. So obviously because this is brand new I am definitely hanging on to this one. Now this is an open front cardigan. It's a Jessica Simpson. I believe I got this at a Nordstrom Rack I think a few years ago. And you can see it's that extremely soft, you can see the, the, the sweater fabric, I mean it's really, really soft. But what I don't like about this sweater is it, that it is that cocoon style. For some reason, whenever I go to put this on, I end up taking it off. So that is telling me that it's time to get to let go and say goodbye to this one. This is a Zessica sweater that I received in a collaboration that I did with Zessica. They sell on Amazon. Um, I got this last year. Now it's, and I think it's mostly acrylic, but after washing it one time, it has not bothered me at all. And I do love the styling and the color of this one especially. So I am going to be hanging on to this one from Zessica. All right, this one is a Love Ellie sweater that I received in a Stitch Fix box last year and absolutely love this sweater. I think the styling of it is so cute. It has the cable knit detail. I just, I love the details of this sweater. The cowl neck is really loose and comfortable, but I have found since having my colors done in this past spring that gray is probably the worst color on me. I think I didn't realize how warm my complexion and hair are up against this like really cool gray and it really does nothing for me. So even though I absolutely love the style of this sweater, it's so snuggly and cozy, I am going to get rid of this one and say goodbye. 
Now here's another in that gray family. This is a Madewell open front card again. And really love the styling of this one as well. It's got the pockets. But I think this color is just not really great for me. And I, I've realized that when I put clothes on that the colors really are not that flattering. It just affects my whole energy, the way that I act and the way that I interact, I think, with people. So I'm really trying to embrace those colors that I really feel good in. And I really just don't feel my best in this gray color. So I am going to be decluttering this one. Now this was another sweater that I received from the Zessica collaboration that I did last year. And I think this sweater is super cute. It is ivory and it's got some really cute cable knit detail and I love how loose the cowl neck is. I really is. enjoy this sweater. So I am going to be hanging on to this Zessica cable knit turtleneck. Now this is a Vigos sweater. And it's kind of unique because it's got this cutout here on the shoulder, but then it's kind of got this mock neck that comes up higher. Well, after having my colors done and realizing black is not a good color for me, and this black with the way that mock neck comes up very close to my face makes this an easy one to declutter, even though I do think the styling of this is cute. But then I will also tell you that I didn't grab this very much for like date nights or out with my friends because I would have to wear a strapless bra. So actually getting rid of this one won't be too hard. So definitely saying goodbye to this black Vigas one. Here is an Old Navy cardigan. I love cardigans, but I have to tell you that looking at this one, it has seen better days. So this is gonna be really easy. It's time to say goodbye to this one. Now, everybody has an ugly Christmas sweater, but I have to say, I think this one is really cute. I love the little sequin writing and the merry and bright and the red and white stripes. And obviously this is one that I only wear around the holiday season, but I'm definitely gonna be hanging on to this one. Now this is a Vera Moda sweater that I received from a Stitch Fix box last year. Love the style cardigan. It's very relaxed and this fabric is so soft, not the least bit itchy. Really enjoyed wearing this a lot last winter and I wore it quite a bit and it's holding up really well. So definitely still gonna be hanging on to this Vera Moda one. Now this is a Mason and Bell sweater and it's that like nubby boucle. So I got this in a Stitch Fix box last year and it was one of those pieces that I, I liked, didn't really love it, but it made more sense to keep it because it was a five for five box. So I tried making this work and I will tell you that anytime I put this on, that the coloring on me, even though this is in on my color guru chart, so it's not foolproof those colors, but even though when I put this on, I just do not feel the best about myself. So I think that is just enough information for me to know that it's time to get rid of this. So I will be saying goodbye to this Mason and Bell sweater. Now here is a long red, like a cranberry red open front cardigan from Old Navy. And I love this sweater. I love the color. I realized I really kind of like this cranberry color and it's holding up really well. This one is seems to be really good quality from Old Navy, so this is definitely one I'll be hanging on to. Now, this is an apricot is the brand. I received this one in a wantable box last year, and although the cardigan style I obviously like, there's something about this sweater that whenever I've worn it, I wanna take it off or I've just taken it off and decided not to wear it. I think it has to do with the sleeves and this really dropped shoulder. I feel like I just look sloppy or something when I'm wearing this. I just do not feel my best in this sweater. So even though I think I like the color, the neutral color, it's very soft. I love a cardigan. It's something about these sleeves that I'm just not really liking, so it's time to say goodbye to this one. Now this is a white cotton blend sweater that I got from Kohl's. It's the Croft & Barrow brand. 
and I can't even tell you how many years I have owned this sweater. It is probably seven, eight years old. And so that should tell you that the quality of this one has been really great. I have worn this so many times because it's just a good, basic, classic sweater, but it washes beautifully, it's holding up beautifully, so I am definitely gonna be hanging on to this one from Kohl's. Now here you can see I still have the tags on this one. I got this, I think it was my August or maybe September Stitch Fix box, but this is another Vera Moda sweater. I think it is the exact same sweater as this burgundy one. But I love the oatmeal color of this sweater. And, and oh my goodness, is this one soft. It's very soft. Love me a cardigan, as you can see. So I am definitely hanging on to this one. Now this is a treasure and bond. So I believe that is Nordstrom, right? Um, like this sweater, it's this like oatmeal, beigey, very soft. I feel like it's mostly a cotton. But this is an, a one shoulder. So whenever I really go to wear this, I end up picking something else because I have to wear a strapless bra with this. And that's one thing that I feel like I should probably just get rid of it because I just haven't been wearing it. So even though I think the idea of it is cute, just having to put on a strapless bra just makes this one that I don't wanna to choose to wear. So I am gonna be decluttering this one. All right, this is a, what is the brand? This is a Market and Spruce sweater that I got from a Stitch Fix box last year. Absolutely love the olive color, and I just really love this sweater. I love that loose cowl neck. It's really comfortable. It's got the little thumb holes here at the cuff, and it's just a really warm sweater. I am going to be keeping this one for sure. Now here is another open front cardigan from Old Navy, and you can see it is a little bit of the darker gray. So the coloring might not be quite so bad on me. Um, I'm gonna keep this for now because I'm wondering if just maybe layering a color that is a little bit better for me as far as maybe a tank or a button-up shirt would make this more wearable. Or if not, this could just be another one of my house sweaters just to stay cozy in when my Barefoot Dreams one is in the wash. So I am planning on hanging on to this Old Navy open front cardigan. All right, those of you who are regular watchers of my channel probably recognize this from a recent loft haul that I did. And this is a poncho sweater that really surprised me how much I liked it. It has that really cute confetti flex throughout it. And I think it's a really cute look with skinny jeans and high boots. I like it a lot. So obviously I just purchased this one, so I am definitely gonna be keeping this. Now this is another Market and Spruce sweater. This is the same exact sweater as the olive one. Stitch Fix will do that sometimes. If you purchase a piece that they have other colors in, they sent this to me in another box. And because I liked that olive one so much, I decided to keep this kind of oatmeal colored one. I guess it's like a taupey oatmeal. So this one I like just as much as the olive one. It's just a really nice sweater, so I'm definitely hanging on to this. Now this I got from a collaboration. It, I'm not sure if it was with Jessica or another company I did, but I got this from a gifted collaboration that I did. And I know that black and white is probably not the best color combination for me, but I, I thought this red heart on here was really cute. And I did wear this when I was volunteering last year on Valentine's Day and everyone thought it was adorable. So I'm gonna hang on to this and maybe it would just be a Valentine's Day sw type sweater. I don't know. I, I'm giving some thought about this one, but for right now, I'm gonna keep this in my maybe pile. And then the last sweater that I have to show you, this is a Knox Rose sweater from Target that I got last year. And it's like the neutral, the you know oatmeal. And it's got really pretty details, the cable knit, and it's got the mock neck. 
And the quality of this one is phenomenal. It is so incredibly soft. It's washing really well. I'm really impressed with the quality of this one. So because it's holding up really well and I still really like it, this one is gonna be a keeper. I am really happy with the progress that I am making on this decluttering series. I am getting rid of quite a few sweaters today. And I'm happy with what I am keeping as well and also feel like it's okay to continue to shop for more sweaters as you know I will be doing. So I would love to hear in the comments how all of your decluttering is going because so many of you have told me that you are doing this as well and I'd love to hear how it's going for you if you're feeling better about what you're keeping and if your closet's feeling a little bit roomier, I know that mine is. So that is going to be it for today, friends, but I do want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy days to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Bye.